production and water. Extending that, we are currently missing them, but we need to move further in in addition to these plenaries and panels, there are also some exhibition area here where 14 exhibitors are showing some of their latest products and service for the space and climate actions. And here is the Earth Observation Virtual Reality equipment from the German Aerospace Center. So let's try it out. Yeah. Hi. Sure. Hi. Can, can we have a try? You can have a go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can see the earth is in front of me and I can move it. Tens of thousands of satellites are now orbiting the earth. So that's why we see the orbit of the earth is getting more crowded, right? It's also a good opportunity to meet some old friends. I just saw Dr. Pascal. Hi, Dr. Pascal. I'm recording my vlog. Good yeah. to see you here. What topics impress you most? Well, I was leading a panel this, um, this morning on um, sustainability, so also on the carbon footprint of space activities. We have so many satellites in orbit, but they have to be manufactured, they have to be tested, they have to be launched, and that also leaves a carbon footprint, so we have to factor all that in. How we can involve a new space economy into that? entrepreneur, but also a young professional coming from non-space uh, area that could even develop services and help us, uh, you know, to learn more about specific action. And discussions will continue until the last day.